What up, it's your boy, the Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on your face, neck, and chest. And man, oh man, what the fuck happened with this disaster? How do you fuck this up? How do you fuck this up? This is the killing joke, which is like one of the most influential, beloved comic books of all time. Retelling or telling the quote unquote origin story of the Joker, written by Alan Moore still to this day, is like literally one of the best comics you can read right now. Still holds up. And what the fuck do you do, Bruce Tim? Bruce Tim, I love you. I worship the altar of Bruce Tim. You brought me a Superman animated series. You brought me the Batman animated series. Countless memories. Countless uh, fond memories. Oh, man, you made my childhood so happy. So what the fuck happened here, bro? What happened? What happened? I really want to know. Were you on drugs? Were you sniffing coke when you were writing? The <laughs> like, what? Like, I am still perplexed on what I just saw. Like, what? Like, there's a scene where Batman and Batgirl just randomly have sex out of nowhere. Bro, this is the killing joke. You're supposed to be telling the story of the Joker. Why the fuck am I watching this? If I wanted to see a sex scene, I would just go on a Pornhub, bro. I don't want this in my Batman animated movie. Especially the fucking killing joke. Where you're supposed to be telling the story of the Joker. And we get to it. like, But first, you have to like skip and get past all of this fucking Barbara Gordon origin bullshit. Just to fucking get to the meat of the story. Like, who thought of this? Who thought this was a good idea? I really want to know who thought this was a good idea. Let me know. I mean, this was fucking atrocious. I mean, Mark Hamill does a great job because it's fucking Mark Hamill, bro. Kevin Conroy is does a great job. This was supposed to be the pen ultimate. This was supposed to be like the fucking epic, like... Uh, an animated film that will go down as one of the best DC animated films of all time. And you just completely blundered it, bro. You completely fucked it up. Completely fucked up. The fucking Joss Whedon help write this script too? Jesus Christ, bro. And of course, it, you know, it, it, it does, you know, some justice, you know, with the fucking book, you know, with, with the shooting of Barbara Gordon. And fucking Jim Gordon getting fucking, uh, fucking, uh, fucking molested by fucking, uh, by, by all the, like, Joker goons and shit like that. So it, it stays faithful to that. But again, that's like, at the you have to fucking skip, like, what, almost like, this movie's only, what, 76 minutes? You have to skip, like, almost, like, fucking 30 minutes of this shit. Like, I understand why... I. I think I understand the thought process of like, you know, showing more backstory to Batgirl. So when the shit happens, you feel bad for her. But bro, I, I, I didn't care either way. I, I didn't ask for a fucking Barbara Gordon origin. This is the killing joke. That's what I paid for. That's what I purchased it for. I want to see that shit. I don't want to see a fucking origin story of Batgirl. Miss me with that nonsense. And, and you fucking gave me a fucking weird sex scene. Bruce Tim, or, 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 what, what, what the fuck? Like, what, what? Did you fucking take an ecstasy pill or something before you wrote this? Excuse me, I don't, I don't think he wrote this. I think he was just a producer on it. But fucking, I don't know if he had a hand in this. But wake the fuck up, bro. Jesus Christ, this was an utter embarrassment. This was fucking pure shit. Get your fucking shit together. And what could have been a, a great epic, you know, uh, film with Kevin Conway and Bruce Timm and uh, Mark Hamill turned into a, like one of the biggest fucking underwhelming films I've ever seen in my life, bro. Just really fucking disappointment. Fuck. How you fuck this up, bro? God damn. Killing Joke should have been fucking epic. Well, it was shit. At least we have the fucking book. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe, like all that good shit. Let's continue the fucking DC conversation, and let's never speak of this shit again. Put this in a fucking blacklist, bro. Truth out.